I've always known I was going to do this. And I think that even when I was little, I knew I would live here. Like I said, I'm from a dairy farm originally, but now we've got pigs and chickens, and um, we've had to learn a lot in, in raising our animals. We started off small. We have Tim. When Tim, for some or whatever reason, I have no idea. I don't remember if he decided that he wanted chickens, or Mom and Dad decided that they wanted him to have chickens. Um, either way, he ended up with like 60 land hens, and they didn't like him very much. And so he, um, so he would send me in to gather the eggs. Um, and I can remember that when Mom finally decided that it was time to get rid of them. Uh, we called Mama Smith over to help us kill, you know, what they call spent hens. I just remember thinking how cool it was that she knew how to do that. A lot of lessons learned the hard way, either through, you know, us killing some animals, them dying because of the weather that we weren't prepared for. You know, I love the way that we do it here because it's natural. You know, we raise everything naturally raised. But I just think that all of the old ways are fascinating um, and I think that they're important to know. And I think that they're especially important for me here because it's what our family has always done. And I think that when I get here, I know exactly who I am. We just stupidly went into it. I mean like the whole hog, you know, bought a bunch of hogs. And, you know, tried to make it an experience for the kids because we wanted the kids to learn. You know, I didn't want my kids to grow up and not know what farming was. Farming's either in your blood or it's not. You know, if it's not in your blood, you're not going to stick with it. You're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to want to get out there and struggle with it sometimes because sometimes it is a struggle. But when it's in your blood, when it's in, when it's been in your family for generations, you know, it's something you have a desire for. Mackenzie was in high school and wanted to do an FFA project and I remember when I was little how fun it was for us to raise pigs. I buy a non-GMO feed. Why? Because our customers say that it's important to them, it's important to us, and that's the way we want to do it. You know, I have, we raise our pigs on the farm. You know, we don't buy feeder pigs. Why? Because I want to know where they've been born. I want to know that, you know, that they are treated right from the second that they are, you know, are, are on the ground. You know, we want the farm to be big enough so that we can work side by side and we can be like grandma and granddaddy. The, my most fond memories of childhood were uh, me and dad working together. You know, those are the, I think, I just think that those are the memories that stick.